We expect that this new variant will evolve as, a, as an antibody escape variant. That means this variant might be able yeah, to infect vaccinated people. It is not clear whether this variant induces a, a more severe disease. There are no indications so far. It is also not clear if vaccinated, uh, vaccinated, vaccinated individuals have, um, have uh, uh, sufficient protection to, uh, uh, to prevent severe disease. Based on the mechanism of our vaccines and vaccines in general, we know and we, uh, we anticipate that, that infected people who, ha who had been vaccinated will still be prevented against severe disease. We have the ability to adapt the vaccine relatively quickly. And um, with the Delta variant, we have seen that th there was no need for change. Yeah? New variants can come in within a few weeks and if, uh, months. So that means, that means if we develop a vaccine, a new vaccine, we will most likely not be able to prevent the first wave of infections yeah, with a new vaccine because it will take about uh, 100 days yeah, to develop a new and distribute a new vaccine or start to distribute a new vaccine. But we are confident that individuals who have not only been vaccinated, but also boosted will have will have sufficient protection, and uh, maybe not only uh, on prevention of severe disease, but maybe also on prevention of any type of disease. We have to see that in the coming weeks. The likelihood increases that we that we get annual uh, uh, the requirement of annual uh, vaccinations. Uh, so it, it um, at the moment we see that the virus is really mutating faster and uh, changing its sh shape and reinventing itself. And, uh, and based on this observation, uh, I would say the likelihood is increasing and that this becomes something similar uh, uh, like influenza. And, um, and yearly vaccines are well known now for decades for the influenza vaccine is a, a yearly vaccine.